Hi everyone, welcome to Quarantine Cooking with your host, Bored. We're all cooking. Bored? Yeah. He's bored. Oh, he is super bored. You're showing our messy table. What are you doing, Theodore? You can barely see him from Yeah, he's he's well hidden. Theodore! There he goes. Ooh, <laughs> hi. We're all super bored. We're all stuck in quarantine. Most of us are making sourdough, but... I'm not your typical person. So today we're gonna try to make cookies based on serving size suggestions for the ingredients you need to make cookies. So like, as in however much a serving of cane sugar is, yep. you're just gonna put that into the mixture. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. So yeah, we're of, gonna okay. see if we make tiny little cookies and they're edible or uh -huh. if it's gonna be really fellerific. And I'm kind of really excited to try. Cool, so, cool. I suppose it's time to present the ingredients, right? Cause Let's hit it. We're making chocolate chip cookies because classic, everybody likes chocolate chip cookies unless they're allergic to chocolate, which sucks. So, yeah. Flour, eggs, butter, vanilla extract, salt, white sugar, brown sugar, baking soda, and chocolate. We'll figure out which one later. <clears throat> All right, Peter. You. All right. What's the very first thing you do before you bake anything? Put that thing, that that horribly ugly thing, yeah, to a uh, about uh, 350 degrees Fahrenheit. You are exact and moon to right. Uh huh. It already knows what we want. Isn't that amazing? That's really convenient. What's the second thing you do? Fuck if I know. You, bake? you didn't. You didn't tell me before we hit roll. I know. I did it. <laughs> You cheater. I am a cheater. I'm gonna go curl up in that corner over there and cry now. So it's wash your hands, Peter. <clears throat> oh. Well, we do that all the time anyway now, right? Because, you know, you Americans now wash their hands. I missed. What the? Yeah. Sploosh! Why do we wash our hands, Peter? To avoid coronavirus? Oh, wait. Um, <laughs> to be clean! Yes, to be clean. Yay! I'm not gonna do this really well, because I... Already went out and washed my hands really thoroughly. You guys want to know why I went out? Yes, yes we do. So, to bake cookies, <clears throat> more often than not need vanilla extract, and I thought I had some. Except, it was all dried up. So in order to make these cookies, you need vanilla extract. If they were going to come out any sort of right, maybe they come out right, maybe they don't. But I want the chance for them to come out right. So I had to go get some vanilla extract. And it's my third time to the store this week, and I feel really terrible about it. <laughs> but the good news is, is we have some vanilla extract, so. Ooh. Yep. so when you make cookies, a lot of the time the instructions say you want to make your dry ingredients and your wet ingredients in separate bowls. So that's why we have two bowls. And I preemptively got really small ones because... I can't imagine serving sizes are going to be as enormous as making real cookies. So, um, we're going to find out if I'm right or not. Uh, I'm going to start with the flour dry stuff first. So, I need my flour. My flour. And normally, you want to put in like two cups or uh, two cups and a fourth, I think. Um, but let's see, the serving size says just a fourth of a cup right there. Fourth of a cup. Oh, 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 focus is not loving this. Oh, I'm oh, no, there. no, no, oh. okay. No, mm. Sorry, <laughs> trying to help, man. There, got it. So, fourth of a cup. So, that's what we're gonna put in our dry bowl, which is gonna be this one. I know that they're exactly the same, but. <clears throat> I think we'll be able to tell which one's dry and which one's not. Alright, here's my fourth of a cup. I want new ones, I want metal ones. These don't wash very no. easily. But, and the way that they feel, too, it's just, yeah. I want dirt. I'm going to buy different ones. Basically, I hate plastic. Now we need some sugar. One whole teaspoon. Oh, these are going to be terrible. <laughs> Let's see. One teaspoon of this stuff. Okay. Normally, you have different um, sizes with when it comes to the sugar. So I think the, <laughs> uh -huh. the white sugar is a cup, and then this one's like three-fourths or something like that. So these are both the same. We need some baking soda. An eighth of a teaspoon. I don't know if I have an eighth of a teaspoon. Shit. <laughs> uh, I'll try. I'll try my best. I will help. All right. I have a fourth of a teaspoon. So you just do half of that. Okay. So half of a 
half of this somehow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Close? Yeah, I'm, Close probably enough? A, a little more than that. I don't want to start all over. No, you just put that in and then you. Oh, uh, well, I'm well, here now. Cool. Okay, here we go again. This is stupid. <laughs> I hate serving sizes. How about now? Yeah. A little less? No. <laughs> okay. Then that goes in, and that's that's the baking soda. Yay! Now, a lot of recipes for cookies call for salt, and I typically don't put salt in my cookies. I find that um, it adds a saltiness that I don't appreciate, um, <clears throat> so I usually just forego the salt, and it comes out to be like a sweeter, smoother cookie, but mm -hmm. for science... <laughs> For science, For she science, says. We're gonna do a normal recipe. So a serving size is 1. What the fuck is 1.5 grams? I'm not an English person. I, don't I can't even focus on it. 1.5 grams is not even on my chart. I can't. I don't even know. My cheat sheet is, is useless to me. Go to the internet. Tell me what 1.5 grams is. Okay. Oh, I fuck. I'm, d I'm bad at this. No, go go away. Also, go away. All of you, go away. Now, what was I looking for? Ah, yes. 1.5 grams is what in a tablespoon or teaspoon or however these yes. measure this crap. Hey! The oven's ready! I'm trying to talk to Google! Stop talking! <laughs> <sighs> it is about 0.17 teaspoons of salt required. We don't exactly know how to acquire that number but we'll do our best i have a fourth of a teaspoon and that's the smallest teaspoon i have all right that's 0.25 so we're looking at a little over half of that receptacle wait so i need to go bigger no a little over half of that that's 0.25 we're targeting 0.17 which is less than. Oh, okay. Well, but see, slightly kept, more than half. What kept messing me up is you kept saying a little over half of that. And I'm like a little over, so I should go half a, a teaspoon. A and little so that's, over half. Yeah, of no, that. I get it. No, I get it now. But for some reason, <laughs> that's where I was having problems. Uh -huh. It's like I don't what. All right. So what are you doing here? I am mortar and pestling salt because see how chunky this this stuff is. So that's well, not really conducive to no. getting a proper measurement. I mean, this isn't a proper measurement <laughs> either, but it's closer now because it's all very fine now. Yes. So that's that's starting to look more like normal salt. I think I'm going to give it a couple more rounds, and then I'm going to put it a little over half <laughs> in this thing. I mean, it's, it's, it's more than a little. So... Yeah, take a little bit more out, and that should... Stop bouncing around! That should work, I guess. Ish. Yeah, I think so. Just dump it. Okay. <laughs> We're trying to get it as exact as we can, but if we don't, I blame measuring systems. <laughs> now we're not all unified on that front. Salt is done, mortar and pestle. I'll do it with you. Light up. Delicious, and I believe that is all my dry ingredients. Time to mix them up. I guess so. Okay, this seems like fucking overkill. Where's my sh my smaller? Why is my smaller one? Up because there? that's where it's been. What do you mean that's where it's you been? You put it in the thing, no, and then I kept on putting one. in the. Th oh. There's a separate one. This goes to the attack. This no. This goes here. All right, which one goes where? Do you see how this one has weird shit at the bottom? This is an attachment for that. For that's that? Why, yes. Oh, that's okay. That's why I put it here. Oh, this it, one is separate. I didn't it's know different. that. You see how it has a little hook yeah, thing? Yeah, uh-huh. That's the hang it some places or whatever, but I just throw it in here. Cool, cool. Good to know. I've always thrown it in there. <laughs> All right, whatever. Okay. She be mad. I'm not mad. She be mad. I'm so confused at your... your, your organizational skills in the kitchen. But then again, you're probably confused by mine, too. Yeah, it looks pretty thorough. What do you think? Yeah. yeah. Cool. That's all done for right now. Now we do the wet stuff. <clears throat> How many eggs? 
One egg is a serving. How do you know? I Googled it. How? When? When uh, did you Google it? Before this video. It's true, he did. And I got mad at him. She did. Good. You took the fun out of it. See, he, see how fun it was to, for him to go find the salt? We can't do that with an egg because he already did it. <clears throat> he ruined the fun. How terrible of him. It is very terrible. That was a perfect break. Look at that. Gorgeous. Okay, vanilla extract. Does not have it on this box. I don't understand why not. And here I was all set for a cool shot. Did you roll looking that up? No. All right, so how much, how, mu uh, how much do I put in? One did, teaspoon. Did you determine? According to McCormick's official website. Okay. It's gonna rock our world, mm -hmm. that's for sure. It's gonna be quite vanilla-y. Well, vanilla extract has alcohol in it. Cool. So it's not gonna, it tastes like vanilla, but like you got punched in the face. Huh. <clears throat> All right, now. One tablespoon of this butter. Oh man. These are gonna be some interesting fucking cookies. All right. Normally I buy unsalted butter because I like to control the amount of salt that I put in things. Um, every once in a while, I'll, I will buy salted butter uh, so that I don't have to think too hard about it. But like, I didn't get a choice this time because you know quarantine is making some things hard to find, so I, it doesn't, oh, it does say it's salted right there. Okay, cool. So this is salted, so this could be extra salty. All right, so I need a knife, and where's the measuring thing? Right there. So about there. Okay. Boom, I did it. That's a whole tablespoon. Yay. Yep, right on the mark. Good. So it needs to be softened. Okay. I did not soften this. I did leave it out for a little <gasps> bit, but it's not enough. <clears throat> so in order to soften butter, if you're dumbass and didn't leave it out for long enough, is you come over here, you put it in the microwave, and you just keep doing it in small in intervals until you have softened butter, not melted or cooked. You usually do it. It takes about like four or five of them, and then it's good to go. I'm seasoned at this. I don't even have to look. <laughs> I'll look after this one. I hope it ends up being like horribly melted. <laughs> <laughs> you know! That sounds like it's melted. Damn it. I was getting all cocky and shit. Well, whatever. <clears throat> Let's beat the egg first, and then we'll add it. Yeah. I presume because if you don't do that, then the butter might actually cook the egg, which would be quite unpleasant. Yeah. So that's your egg. It's... It, that's probably going to be fine. It's not hot it's just kind of warm so that should be mm, should be should be okay not actually cook the egg. and then you whisk these things together and then you slowly add your this dry stew and why do you slowly add it so you don't overwhelm the wet stuff why don't you want to overwhelm the wet stuff? Because it then it won't incorporate well. Exactly. Oh man, what is this? I mean, it's starting to look like batter. <clears throat> I'm excited. <laughs> I'm scared. <laughs> oh, yeah, that does look like it batter, doesn't it? Yeah, it's a little sticky though. Yeah. So this is gonna be fun. <laughs> Normally, you would just add more flour until it wasn't sticky, but... Not allowed to do that. I'm not allowed to do that. I think it's well incorporated, though. I think so. Okay. Yeah, that looks... Just looks like sticky batter. Hmm? Cool. And now comes the adding the, the chocolate pot. I have four different chocolate options because not only am I extra, but I wanted to see which one had the most serving size. 
because chocolate chips are the best if they have just an overabundance of chocolate. So, let's see. The extra dark chocolate chips. Ooh. 20, 30 pieces. Okay. Serving size is about 132 chips. No. <laughs> what do you mean no? They're the tiny ones. Oh, They're well, really okay. Tiny. Okay, maybe maybe then. All right. The M&M minis are two tablespoons. Okay. <clears throat> and the pretzel filled M&Ms are 12 pieces. Well, these ones are out. Good day, sir. <laughs> 30 pieces also seems a little small, right? So, because the two tablespoons, this is a tablespoon. Sorry. It's cool. That's a tablespoon, right? Right. So, 30 pieces. Two of the, uh, uh, is it the, is it this one that's 30, uh, two tablespoons? Yeah, this one. I would say that's probably around 30 pieces. I'd say that's really similar. Really? Well, now I have to do science and measure. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Damn it. Let's do that all over again because one got away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Did I fucking do wow. it? Wow. Wow. Cool. Nicely done. <laughs> so okay. that's like basically one tablespoon. It was a little more than one tablespoon. It piled up a little. Okay, so just straight up two tablespoons. <clears throat> yeah, that's way more. All right. Now, I can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to count 132 pieces. Uh, science. science. Yeah, that's what this is called. <laughs> is it not? Trying to get the most chocolate chips is not science? <laughs> All right. This is awful. Two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. 132. I think the clear winner are these guys. I wouldn't call it clear though. Is it not? Here's why. Why not? Uh, the, the question I have is each of these individual M&Ms has a casing and that casing reduces the overall like... But it's not much of a casing like you can see that this one Okay. I don't know if you can see it, but right, Peter right. can. <laughs> it, it's true. I just, I, I don't know. That's why this is not science. This is totally science. It's just <laughs> bad science. All science is real. So this all fits, though. Yeah. So that seems fairly comparable to that. Yeah. So these are similar, and this is, I still think <clears throat> these are the winner. All right. So go for it. I'm gonna go with these sure. because the most chocolate wins. And now we gotta mix it again. Get off Good luck my, with that. My whisk. Maybe I should just fold it. Yeah, probably. That might be better. Yes, I think you were right. <laughs> This is the saddest cookie I've ever made. Wait, that's all gonna be one cookie? Well, I assume. I don't know. Maybe two? <laughs> Maybe I can get two cookies out of it. What do you think? I think that's two cookies right there. Alright, cool. So, now that we've folded our dough... I just want a cookie for myself. If they turn out to be good, they won't. If I have to eat 
have a really tiny baking pan. Adorable. And you know what you do with baking pans? You grease them. Why do you grease them, Peter? So that stuff doesn't stick to them? Exactly. Good job. Ew. Okay, now we gloop the cookies. Oh, it looks like there's going to be more than two. Wonderful. I'm going to try to get four, I think. Yeah, that seems reasonable. You know, they almost look like they're going to be okay. Mm-hmm. Except I know that's a lie. Probably. <laughs> Maybe. Yeah. There we go. Sure, that works. Cool. Now you just pop these suckers in the oven, you pray. <laughs> <laughs> well... Y'all ready? It's that time. What have we done? Oh dear. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm gonna do the toothpick test, I think. That's fair. I don't know what I'm looking for. I thought these would look normal. These don't. They look <laughs> something. Oh, that, did you hear how crispy? Yeah, I, those I are did. done, dude. Oh my god. Okay. Yep, those are. All right. I have seen a cookie like that before. Um, I'm, I'm trying to remember what they... It's like a... Is it like a meringue cookie or something? They kind of look like the mended snowmen. I'm excited. Mm-hmm. Now they just got a cool one, and you hope we don't get food poisoning. Cool. Because obviously we're going to try these. I mean, the egg is cooked, so we're not going to get food poisoning. Flour is cooked, so we're not going to get salmonella. Wait, flour has salmonella? Yeah. Weird. Why? Yeah, that's why you don't actually eat cookies. Oh. It's not because of the egg, it's because of the flour. And I didn't know that. And people always mess that up. Cool. The reason why that is kids, or people who don't know, is because sugar cooks eggs, similar to the process of like when you squeeze lemon over the top of salmon, it cooks it. Mm -hmm. So it's the same process. If gotcha. You, that's why eggnog is safe for you to drink. Right. It's because the sugar has already cooked the egg, um, even though you're technically consuming it raw. Um, it's the flour that's going to get you in the cookie dough, cool. if anything does, so... <clears throat> yup. The more you know. Indeed. I am scared. Look what it did to the fucking m and I've never seen this before. Like, it just... I don't know if it's because the M&M's were kind of old. Oh. Or, like, yeah. well, but, like, the M&M's... I've, I've made chocolate chip cookies with M&M's, and, yeah, it sort of melts, but it doesn't look like it's battery acid. Mm. So, that's a texture. Mm-hmm. You know, like dry cream. Oh, what? Alright. Well, let's uh have a little something something. Which one do you want? You go first. You're on camera. Which one do you want? I don't I don't care. You can go after me. Which one do you want? Pick uh, one. I don't care. Did, There's four. That one. Okay. Oh, uh I pointed at that one, guys. I know. Oh, sorry. Wow, even that extra. butter really uh, did a good job. Yep. <laughs> there we go. Okay, this is yours. I cleaned the spot for you. Thanks. <laughs> but you have to go first. That doesn't look real. This doesn't look... <laughs> just something about it that doesn't look real. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the one next to you. That one looks more real. Yeah, yeah, it does. Not by much, though. I'm just gonna... I wanna look at all the bottom. I'm just, I'm just stalling, I don't... <laughs> I'll be honest. Well, that one just... Just, like, definitely, like, drying paint, like... There's, like, crystals in it? I don't know. It's, it's like... You'd find this in a cave, and you'd be like, what is this? That one came up nicely. How would I describe it? It's like your first home ec assignment and the kid that bullies you like made this gross concoction and then swapped it with yours. And that's what it smells like. Not bad. Okay. The 
texture is what I'm reacting to the most. That texture is. You could dunk it in milk. Some. <laughs> it's almost flavorless. Wonderful. It's vaguely cookie. Wonderful. But this texture is. I don't like it. No. No, this texture is. No. <laughs> okay. Have fun. Uh -huh. We did this. Something is pinging. It's like <clears throat> stale muffin. Mm, I can this is a stale muffin. I can taste that. Okay, yeah. Which tells you it's not like the worst thing in the world at all. No. It's not good. The texture even is stale muffin. Like if you, oh, no. Mm. Yeah. What's what? Which muffin though? Cause like <clears throat> muffins can go one of two ways when they're stale. They get <clears throat> crumbly or they get like st st sticky. It's like bran. Oh, you're right. You're right. These are brand cookies. So yeah, I guess if in a pinch, if you had to make cookies by the serving sizes or serving suggestions, you could. It's just maybe you really shouldn't. Yeah. 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 I don't think you should. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm filming you. Mm -hmm. So that means you have to sign off the video. Sorry. What? All right. Cool. See you when I see you, motherfuckers. Okay. How the fuck? Press the fucking I'm button. trying.